from the top to the bottom. I'm the top, I shot. At the core, I forgot. In the middle of my thoughts. Take it. What's good, YouTube? Yup, Boy 21 here. Bring you guys my locals report today. Sorry about saying I went X1 at locals today. It was a pretty good tournament. Um, about 20 or 30 people. It's a free tournament today. And so let's begin with the report. Round one, I played up against a kid running both times. It was a swift two on, so I didn't even side deck for the game. Um, round two, I played up against a chaos dragon deck. And not gonna lie, that was a swift two also the guy. It was just one of those things like he like game one, I completely he set he had a monster in the field, one back row I MST'd. Um I got rid of his monster the turn before. He set one back row pass. MSC, chain summon and GG. And then game two, I just got it. I'm like, whatever. Oh, yeah. Game two, I got it because I, I um, flipped macro. I did side deck. I'm lying. Round three, I played up against Shadows. And it was a fun game. Game one, he, um, I had opened up really. He, he let me go first, all three games for some fucking reason. And I'm going to start by saying all three games, I opened up Solemn Warning. I power shuffled and everything. So game one, I opened up Solemn Warning and. What the fuck? Solemn, sorry. It was Solemn Morning and Vanity. It's okay. I go Green Gadget, make. I went Green Gadget, Kage. No. Yeah, Green Gadget, Kage into Ka King of the Pharaoh and Search Pass. He goes something, something. I warning. Now he has a light and dark engrave. And then I try to flip. No, I didn't have the infinite. He had infinite. Long story short, I, flip, I warning him. He made BLS, attack, tag. I draw. I had complete control, but he got rid of my back row. I draw. He flipped Infinite. So he's sitting on a BLS on Infinite. And I have a Gadget and Kage. And I tried to go Gadget and Kage. He flipped Infinite. I'm like, yep, DG, no re. And then game two and three, I sided in my fucking eight cards and just wrecked them. You know, Shadow Mirror, Macro, etc. And I drew them every game. And I had complete control. He made. He didn't make a misplay game through two, but hey, it happens. Every fuck, everyone misplays. And round four, I played up against Burning Abyss. I should have fucking won that game. Oh my god, god, I'm so pissed. Okay, game one, I had one back row gadget, and I had like a, a hand of gadget goldfish kage with one of them type of hands. And that guy, my opponent drew really good. He knew he drew tour guide into one of the Burning Abyss guys, into Dante, into the middle three. And I stopped the first one and ran into Dante. And basically, long story short, I warned and he had BLS, and I'm like, yep, scoop it up. And then game two, I open up Shadow Mirror. I want to say it was Shadow Mirror, MST, Time Space Trap Hole, into, into King of Pharaoh. I'm like, okay, I'm still in a pretty good hand. He goes to a guy. I changed I change Shadow Mirror, negating to a guy. fact. And then this is where I fuck up at. He goes that one burning, one of the burning abyss guys is special summon to the field because he had no back row. And I'm debating. I'm like, okay, I have Shadow Mirror on the field. I have Kage, King of Fairy on the field. If I time space this one guy, he has three cards in hand left. I can just run over to a guy. This is my this is my thinking now. I'm gonna tell you how stupid I was. So I'm like, or I can just time space this exceed monster. And but then like then I was like nah if I time space Dante he'll get the Dante effect. Then now that I think about it it's like hold on. So basically this is what this is my thought. I'm like okay if I time space Dante Dante goes to grave. I was wrong already because if I time space Dante Dante goes after extra deck. But I'm like okay so I'm like hmm hmm. I mean this is already round four. I'm feeling cocky because I like I'm undefeated at this point. And it's like I said you don't want to let your ego get to you so. I, I'm just playing recklessly, didn't care. I'm like, I have Shadow Mirror on the field. I got a King of Fairy. I'm going to win anyways. I'm like, fuck it. I time spaced the one guy back to the deck. And he had another uh, he had another copy of the same, of the, a different one in his hand. That's for something to fit. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So I'm like, okay, whatever. He'll just run me over with his Dante and I'll be good. So he goes, special summon, over level tour guy, made Dante. Rank up magic. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm like, my one misplay cost me the game. And after that, I had Gadget Kage in hand, but it was it made no point. He, I was bluffing my setting line MST. He kept bouncing MST back. I guess he thought it was like a Phoenix chain or something. And he just kept pushing my shit in. Push, push, push. And I lost. 
And I'm not gonna lie, I was heated, guys, because I feel like I should have lost that game. I would have won that game if I would have just let him make Dante and Ty switch it back to the extra deck. But I got too cocky, got too greedy, and I was just like, yeah, whatever, GG, no read. So I did learn definitely to how to not make misplays and think my think my plays out. And just because it's the last round, you don't want to just play recklessly like I did. So yeah. Oh well, it is what it is. As long as I don't do that at this regionals this Sunday, I'll be fine. Yeah. Tenley Park Regionals, I'll be there this Sunday. If you guys wanna see me, just come up to me and say hi. I will be wearing it great. I mean it's blue under armor hoodie. Also, met a subscriber today, Angel Torres, pretty cool guy. He went, I think, X2, I believe, which ain't that bad. So, shout out to you as well. You're a pretty cool guy. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Comment in the comment section below. As always, how Locus went for you guys this week. This is Yellow Boy 21 with Locus Report. Great comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Deuces. Have a good day.